What's up, O-Doers? Jose Ignacio back at you. Now here we are with more how-tos for the Odoo subscription application. Now if you're still interested in selling subscriptions, which I hope, you're probably wondering, how do I deal with subscription renewals and customer payments? Well, since the idea of subscriptions is to have customers pay on a recurring basis, you need a system that makes recurring payments easy, just so that customers don't get frustrated and they end their subscriptions early. Now here at Stealthywood, we use Odoo's automatic renewal features to manage our subscription renewals and recurring payments. There are two ways that Odoo handles automatic subscription renewals, by payment token and by invoice. And that gives you options. Now, if your payment provider supports tokenization, that means it can securely store customers' payment information. So in Odoo, customers can be asked to pay online to confirm their initial subscription order, basically. Now, Odoo then creates a payment token which is a way of saving the customer's payment information securely. Now, payment tokens encrypt customer's information and use this information to validate the very next transaction. Now, Odoo can automatically charge the payment method when it's time to renew the subscription. Now, the automatic subscription renewal makes it so our salespeople, as well as our customers, never have to think about the subscription again after that first payment. Now the customer is automatically charged so the subscription keeps on going smoothly and the revenue keeps on coming in and I know you like that. Now if your payment provider does not support tokenization, well, you're not out of luck. If the customer is also not asked to pay at the start of their initial subscription for any reason, you are also not out of luck because then Odoo will automatically create an invoice and send it to the customer when it's time to renew that subscription. Now this provides an alternative renewal option just in case you can't use the fully automated renewal option. Now, enough chit chat, I'm feeling hyped. Let's check all this out inside of our Odoo database. All right, Odoo, so here we are on our Odoo dashboard. Now to get started, I'm going to show you how to configure Odoo to accept online payments for subscriptions, just so that our customer subscriptions will renew automatically. Now, all of the configuration settings for subscriptions are actually located inside of the sales app. So let's head on over there. And inside of here, we're going to go inside of configuration, settings and you want to reach the section for quotations and orders now this is where we basically configure the settings for both the sales app and the subscriptions app since they're integrated and they work hand in hand together it makes it very easy now first of all we want to make sure that the uh, online payment option over here is selected and then you want to save if needed now what does this do well this allows the customer to confirm their sales order by paying for their quotation online and I'll show you what that looks like a little later in the video. Now up next, we need to set up a payment provider. I can actually just click this convenient little link right here under the online payment setting, and that'll show you your options right there. Now here, we basically see a bunch of payment providers that we can connect to our Odoo database to allow us to accept payments from customers. We just need to select a payment provider for you know our typical thing and enter our account information. For detailed info on payment providers, and to see which ones support tokenization, please check out the Odoo documentation. It is wonderful and it'll make it easy for you. In our case, we're going to select something pretty popular. We're going to select Stripe configuration. Now, I already have Stripe set up in test mode because we're going to be testing stuff. And I have the allow saving payment methods feature enabled. Now, this enables payment tokenization. So with all that set and go, we're actually ready to go. Now, the very next thing we want to do is configure the subscription plan that we'll use to sell our subscription products. So let's head on over to the subscriptions app. So we're gonna go back to the dashboard, subscriptions. And once inside of here, you wanna select configuration and plans. Now, we've done this before, but let's look at the monthly plan that I've already set up. Now for the online confirmation here, I can choose to allow the customer to confirm a subscription order either by entering a signature payment or both. We gave you a lot of options. Now, in order to make sure that the customer enters their payment information so that their payment method can be saved and their subscription can be automatically renewed, I need to make sure only the payment option is checked. Now, go save manually. Great. Now we're ready to create a quotation. So let's go back over here to our subscriptions dashboard. And we're gonna do this again. We're gonna select new. I need a customer. Let's go back with that addict that we talked about. And we're gonna select the monthly subscription plan that we just configured. All right, well, everything looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this quotation to the customer by what? By email. 
And now that the customer has the quotation, they'll be able to enter their payment information to confirm their order. But let's see what that looks like from there and using the customer preview smart button over here. All right, oh dear, so here I am, a very wealthy customer, and this is what it looks like when a customer opens their quotation on their customer portal. All I have to do is click up here, accept and pay, and then I can pay it online. Now we see here that Odoo gives the customer a message letting them know their payment details will be safe for automatic renewals. Perfect. Let's click pay, and we're gonna enter our payment information right here. We're gonna use a fake card so that you don't bankrupt me. And we're gonna hit pay, and that's it. That's really it. The customer's card will be charged automatically when their subscription renews after every recurrence period. This is the most efficient way to renew subscriptions with Odoo. Now, when we go back to our database over here, we can see that an invoice has been automatically created to record the customer payment right there. Ah. And if for some reason we don't want subscriptions to renew automatically using payment tokenization, we can always confirm subscription orders manually from the back end or confirm them by customer signature. In that case, Odoo will automatically create an invoice and send it to the customer when the subscription needs to be renewed. I'm going to show you that right now. Now, there's one more renewal option that I basically want to go over with you. And that's that we could renew a subscription manually by selecting the renew button at the top of a confirmed subscription order like the one that we have right there. Now, what does that do? This creates a new quotation that needs to be confirmed by the customer. Now, renewing subscriptions this way is useful if the customer wants to add or change stuff on their order, such as products, duration, um, et cetera, et cetera. Now, these changes will only impact future subscription periods, not the current in-progress subscription. So remember that. But if nothing and everything is perfect, you can basically keep the subscription order as is, and then using Odoo's automatic renewal feature, you'll be in the most convenient position for your business. Now, that's all for now, Odooers. Thanks for always tuning in, and don't forget to smash that subscribe. Leave me a nice emoji. I don't know, something. Have a great day.